three, two, one. My name is Eugenio Gastelum and I am a video game expert for the United Nations and we use video games to change public spaces around the world. We go to the community, teach them how to play Minecraft and then the community is the one that changes the public space into what they desire or, or what they need in Minecraft. It's the best job in the world, you know? <laughs> I'm playing video games, I'm traveling, I'm meeting people, I'm teaching, I'm improving my world. When I was maybe six, seven years old, my father brought from, from the United States one of the first consoles that was in my neighborhood. We used to play tournaments of video games for 36 hours straight. So my, my home then started to turn into this hub for video games and entertainment for all the neighbors. It's funny being a, a Mexican kid with a mother telling me every day to stop playing video games. Juegue, 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 juegue. Horas y horas y con los amigos. Podías hacer otras cosas en vez de estar tanto tiempo jugando videojuegos. It took me maybe 20 years to teach her that it's okay to play video games, you know? It was just a, a matter of time joining video games that I loved a, a lot and changing the, my surroundings, changing my community, changing uh, at last the world, no? If I had a dream project, it became true uh, through Block by Block. Block by Block is a program created by Mojang and UN Habitat where we use Minecraft to help community members redesign their neighborhoods. UN Habitat uh, provides the methodology, the funding through Block by Block, a be the video game expert, urban experts, uh, the supervision of the project, and all the planning for the workshops. There's millions and millions of people who play Minecraft, millions of children who play Minecraft, and we've tied up with them to actually allow children as young as six or seven to express their views on the redesign of a public space. And then we help put it into proper design and take it to city leaders and make sure that it gets done. The, the project in Kosovo was in the center of the city. And we were building in an old marketplace and the community started wondering about the possibility, for example, for having a skate park. And then everybody got excited about the skate park because there were no skate parks in Kosovo. Through Block by Block, the community was able to develop a park that included a skate park, which provides that the community wishes are reflected uh, through the whole process and are included in the final design. Well, before the area felt very cold and unsafe, so seeing my own idea as a kid changing a whole area in my city, it was very special to me. So the reaction of the community was great, and to me it was a great feeling which I'll never forget. If you do something in a video game and then it appears in real, in real life, you notice that you have this power to change your community, to change the world, and you start getting involved in other projects. Maybe I don't have the full power to do whatever I think is better for the world. For example, I cannot stop climate change, right? So I learned that through teaching the newer generations, my power multiplies. Minecraft. Yeah. At the end, you're gonna see that everybody has the power to change the world. That's what I do, I change the world. It's not only me changing the problems that we have, it's me and all the other, the, the newer generations coming to help me and then they will teach the younger generations and, and like that maybe we will be able to fix most of the problems in the world. Hola mamá. Hola. Yo estoy muy contenta contigo, yo me siento muy satisfecha y creo que van bien todos. <laughs>